Hello everyone, it's Lola here again and I welcome you all back to my kitchen. So today we are going all the way to East Africa and we are going to be making beef pilau. For those who don't know, this is a delicious one pot rice dish made with a couple of aromatic spices and it's also filled with amazing textures and flavors. I'm going to start by making my pilau masala, which is a combination of different aromatic spices. So here I've got a teaspoon of cloves, two tablespoons of cumin seeds, half tablespoon of black peppercorns, 12 cardamom pods, and one cinnamon stick. I'm going to go ahead and toast this until I begin to perceive the aroma of the toasted spices. And this is going to take a couple of minutes. So these spices does not only make the rice smell beautiful, but it also gives it an amazing depth of flavor. So here we go, the spices are now well toasted. I'll just be taking them off the heat. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend them together in my coffee grinder and you can also use you know any dry grinder that you have. Once everything has been well blended into a smooth consistency I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Moving on I've got my pan and to that I'm going to be adding my oil Today I'm using olive oil, but feel free to use any good cooking oil of your choice. Once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to go ahead and add my sliced onions. As you can see, it seems like this onion is a whole lot, but don't worry, we are going to cook this down until it's well browned, well reduced and well caramelized. And I'm going to show you the results after about 10 to 15 minutes of cooking the onions. So while the onions are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and dice my pepper. Feel free to use, you know, any hot chili of your choice. But my preference today is serrano pepper, not just because of the heat, but also because of its flavor. So just one minute, I'm going to go and check my onions. As you can see, it's cooking nice and well, but we still have you know, a little bit more way to go. So I'm going to leave it to continue cooking. Moving on, I'm going to be dicing my tomatoes. You want to cut that into little cubes, just like this. Then I'm also going to be chopping my cilantro. So here are my potatoes. I'm going to peel and dice that as well. Today I'm using five medium sized potatoes. If you are using larger sizes, feel free to you know, reduce the quantity. And if you are using smaller sized potatoes, feel free to increase the quantity. I'm going to go ahead and cut them into about six to eight pieces, depending on you know how big they are. So now I'm done with this, I'm just going to rinse that, drain it and set it aside. Okay now as you can see my onions are well reduced and they are nicely browned and caramelized. At this point I'm going to go ahead and add my serrano pepper, my grated ginger and my minced garlic. Give that a good mix and you want that to cook for another one minute or till you literally begin to perceive the good aroma of all these ingredients. Okay now I'm going to be adding my beef at this point and to that I'm going to be adding my masala spice, seasoning powder, some salt to taste, bay leaves, and my cilantro. 
go ahead and give that a good mix. Once the meat has been well coated with all these ingredients, just cover it up and leave the meat to brown for about 8 to 10 minutes. You don't want to skip browning the meat because it's going to affect the end result of your rice. You want your rice to be nicely browned once it's done. And this is a very important step in achieving that. So now as you can see, my meat is nicely browned. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my diced tomatoes. And I'm going to leave this to cook for another four to five minutes or till the tomatoes releases all of its liquid. All right, here we go. As you can see, this is looking really good at this point and it smells amazing. So moving on, I'm going to be adding my potatoes and I'll also be adding my water. Go ahead and bring this to a rolling boil and leave the potatoes to cook for about 10 minutes. All right, this has been cooking for about 10 minutes now, but we are not yet done. This is the point where we add our rice. And today I'm using basmati rice, which I've already washed and drained. If you are using any other type of rice, bear it in mind that the cooking time is going to be different from mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir in this rice. Once that is done, I'm going to be covering this with a foil paper. You may ask why am I covering this with a foil paper? It's pretty simple. The reason is just because I don't want the steam to escape. I want all the steam to be left inside the pot and this is going to help the rice come out with well separated grains and it's also going to help the rice to cook evenly. All right, I'm going to be leaving this rice to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's well done. So here we go, our rice is nicely cooked, it's all done. As you can see, it came out with well separated grains and my potatoes so tender and nice. So traditionally, rice pilau is often served with kachumbari and kachumbari is a combination of tomatoes, onions and cucumber with lemon dressing. It's so good. So I'm going to quickly make kachumbari that will go along with this pilau. So here I've got my diced tomatoes, diced cucumbers, onions, cilantro, green chili, salt, and black pepper. And over that, I'm going to be juicing one lemon. Give that a good mix and you can serve this immediately over your pilau. You can also leave it in the fridge for about an hour or so so that all the ingredients can be well combined before you serve it. But because we are hungry right now, I'm going to be serving this immediately. Look at this refreshing salad. So good. I honestly don't know what I like best between the salad and the pilau. Both of them are just so good. So here we go guys, this is my easy take on the delicious East African pilau. As usual, I've got all the details to this recipe in the description box for you. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.